Hello everyone, I'm Lou Del Monte and welcome to Del Monte on Science. Today we're going to talk about one of the most controversial questions that science addresses. And that question is, God or no God? And I'm going to come at it from the standpoint of, can science answer the question? Is it possible for science to answer that question? So let's let's talk about that. First, let me just say that the the question of God versus no God, God versus no God, has been uh, a question that science has addressed literally since the beginning of science, since the birth of science. And I'm not going to try to, to answer this question. I'm really going to try to answer the question, can science answer it? Can science answer the question? And so what I'm doing, I'm coming at it from the standpoint of a scientist. And I'm, I'm asking the question based on uh, the evidence and the data, is it possible for science to address this question and actually prove or disprove the existence of God? So we're going to frame the debate. And what this will do for you is it will help you when you look at books that uh, are talking about, they could be philosophical books or scientific books that talk about proving or disproving a higher power, uh, God, then uh, you can then make a decision whether or not this is the kind of book that uh, fits your philosophy. So uh, we're going to start with uh, a definition of God. So we're coming with that as our first uh, piece of evidence. And I'm going to say that when you say God, you already bias you already bias the uh, question because that gets into monotheism and it gets into uh, particular religions use the term God, and I want this not to be uh, a religious discussion but a scientific discussion. So I'm going to use the word deity, and that word takes into account uh, monotheism and polytheism. So one God, multiple gods, etc., all come under the word deity. So for purposes of this discussion, a scientific discussion, I'm using the word deity. And most of what I'll talk about is in my book, Unraveling the Universe's Mysteries. It's available on Amazon and at, on Barnes & Noble online. So please, if you have any questions, there's a whole chapter on it, avail yourself of the book. So let's talk about what is the nature of a deity, okay? So right at the top, we're, gonna, we're going to, to now try to define as the nature of a deity as viewed through the eyes of the major religions of the world. No specific religion, but these are themes that are current and go through the major religions of the world. The first is, and these I call them the omni words, the first is omni, omni, it should be an N, Omni preternatural. That's a big word. Okay, omni preternatural. What does that mean? It means all powerful and supernatural, beyond the natural realm. The second omni word is omniscient.
And that means, that means knows all. In effect, the deity knows all. The third Omni word is omnipotent. Omnipotence, I should say. And that means all powerful. So this means supernatural. This means knowing all. This means all powerful. The fourth omni word is omnipresent or omnipresence it means everywhere. The deity is everywhere. So there, that the deity is able to, to be anywhere and everywhere simultaneously. And the fifth omni word is omni. Let's start with this. Omni benevolent. Benevolence. And that means all good. So the, when you look at the major religions of the world, these are the recurring themes through those religions. Omni preternatural, meaning outside the natural realm. Omniscient means it knows all. Omnipotence means it's all powerful, can do anything. Omnipresent, it's everywhere. And omnibenevolent, it's all good. This, this is the foundation that I want to build upon to address the question, can science answer the question, God versus no God? And we'll do that in the next video post.